The Brigantis were a Celtic tribe who in pre-Roman times controlled the largest section of what would become northern England. Their territory, often referred to as Brigantia, was centered in what was later known as Yorkshire. The Greek geographer Ptolemy named the Brigantis as a tribe in Ireland also, where they could be found around Wexford. Kilkenny and Waterford while another probably Celtic tribe named Brigantii is mentioned by Strabo as a sub-tribe of the Vindelici in the region of the Alps. Within Great Britain, the territory which the Brigantus inhabited was bordered by that of four other Celtic tribes, the Carvatii in the northwest, the Parisii to the east and to the south, the Coriatova and the Cornovii. To the north was the territory of the Votardini, which straddled the present-day border between England and Scotland. Etymology The name Brigantis shares the same proto-Celtic root as the goddess Brigantia, asterisk brigant meaning, high, elevated, and it is unclear whether settlements called Brigantium were so named as high ones, in a metaphorical sense of nobility or literally as Highlanders, referring to the Pennines, or inhabitants of physically elevated fortifications. In modern Welsh the word brain means privilege, prestige, and comes from the same root asterisk briganti. Other related forms from the modern Celtic languages are Welsh Brennan, King, Welsh Cornish Breton BRI, Prestige, Reputation, Honour, Dignity, Scottish Gaelic Bry, Pith, Power, Irish BRI, Energy. Significance, Manx Brie, Power, Energy, and Welsh, Cornish, Breton Brie, Hill. The name Bridget from Old Irish Bridget also comes from Brigantee, as does the English river name Brent. There are several ancient settlements named Brigantium around Europe, such as Berganza in Alava, Betanzos and Burgonda in Galicia, Braganca in Portugal and Briancan, Brigitia on the border of Slovakia and Hungary. Brigoban situated on the Breg River and near the Brigach River in South Germany and Bregenz in the Alps. The Italian word briganti, whence English and French brigand and brigade, occurs in medieval Latin in the 14th century in the forms briganci, brigantii, brigantini, brigantis. Although an ultimate Celtic origin for the word is possible, any connection of the Italian term to the Celtic ethnonym seems unlikely since the Brigantis had not played any significant role in Italy and had disappeared as a people for some thousand years by the time the word is attested. In chronostratigraphy, the British substage of the Carboniferous period, the Brigantian, derives its name from the Brigantis. History there are no written records of the Brigantis before the Roman conquest of Britain. It is therefore hard to assess how long they had existed as a political entity prior to that. Most key archaeological sites in the region seem to show continued, undisturbed occupation from an early date. So their rise to power may have been gradual rather than a sudden, dramatic conquest or it may be linked to the burning of the large hill fort at Castle Hill, Huddersfield, c. 430 BC. Territorially, the largest tribe in Britain, the Brigantus encompass sub-tribes or septs such as the Gabrantavishes on the Yorkshire coast, and the Textoverdi in the upper valley of the river South Tyne near Hadrian's Wall. The names Portus Satantiorum and Coriolopocorum suggest other groups. The Satantua and the Lopocares located on the Lancashire coast and the River Tyne respectively. A name Corianotatai is also recorded but since the name seems to derive from asterisk Corian Tutus meaning tribal army or people's army, it may have been a name for a military force or resistance against the Romans rather than any tribe or sub-tribe. The Carvatii who occupied what is now Cumbria may have been another sub-tribe, or they may have been separate from the Brigantis. This is often disputed as the Carvatii made up a separate civitas under Roman rule. Roman era during the Roman invasion, in 47 AD, the governor of Britain, Publius Ostorius Scapula, was forced to abandon his campaign against the Decenli of North Wales because of disaffection among the Brigantis. 
whose leaders had been allies of Rome. A few of those who had taken up arms were killed and the rest were pardoned. In 51, the defeated resistance leader Caratacus sought sanctuary with the brigantine queen, Cartamantua, but she showed her loyalty to the Romans by handing him over in chains. She and her husband Venutius are described as loyal and defended by Roman arms, but they later divorced. Venutius taking up arms first against his ex-wife, then her Roman protectors. During the governorship of Aulus Didius Gallus he gathered an army and invaded her kingdom. The Romans sent troops to defend Cartamandua, and they defeated Venutius' rebellion. After the divorce, Cartamandua married Venutius' armor-bearer, Velocatus, and raised him to the kingship. Venutius staged another rebellion in 69, taking advantage of Roman instability in the year of four emperors. This time the Romans were only able to send auxiliaries, who succeeded in evacuating Cartamandua but left Venutius and his anti-Roman supporters in control of the kingdom. The extensive Iron Age fortifications at Stanwyck in North Yorkshire were excavated in the 1950s by Mortimer Wheeler who concluded that Venutius probably had this site as his capital. But Durham University's later excavations from 1981 to 86 led Colin Hasselgrove and Percival Turnbull to suggest a slightly earlier dating with Stanwyck a centre of power for Cartamandua instead. After the accession of Vespasian, Quintus Petilius Serialis was appointed governor of Britain and the conquest of the Brigantis was begun. It seems to have taken many decades to complete. Nius Julius Agricola appears to have engaged in warfare in Brigantian territory. The Roman poet Juvenal, writing in the early 2nd century, depicts a Roman father urging his son to win glory by destroying the forts of the Brigantis. There appears to have been a rebellion in the north sometime in the early reign of Hadrian, but details are unclear. A rising of the Brigantis has often been posited as the explanation for the disappearance of the 9th Legion, stationed at York. It is possible that one of the purposes of Hadrian's Wall was to keep the Brigantis from making dust course with the tribes in what is now the lowlands of Scotland on the other side. The Emperor Antoninus Pius is said by Pausanias to have defeated them after they began an unprovoked war against Roman allies, perhaps as part of the campaign that led to the building of the Antonine Wall. Tacitus, in a speech put into the mouth of the Caledonian leader Calgacus, refers to the Brigantis under a woman's leadership, almost defeating the Romans. Settlements Ptolemy named nine principal polis or towns belonging to the Brigantis. These were other settlements known in Brigantian territory include Winco Bank on the border of Sheffield, Bramitnak and Veteranorum, Calcaria, mentioned in the Antonine itinerary and the Ravenna cosmography, Lagu Valium, probably a settlement of the Carvitii, Coria, perhaps a settlement of the Lopocares. Brigantis in Ireland. The Brigantis are attested in Ireland as well as Britain in Ptolemy's second century Geographia, but it is not clear what link, if any, existed between the Irish and the British Brigantis. T.F. O'Rahilly proposed that the Irish branch was the origin of the later Iri Baracha clan, believing that they belonged to the Erin who he hypothesized were originally descendant from the Gaulish and British Belgi according to his model of Irish prehistory. Professor John T. Koch posits links between the British and Irish groups, identifying the Romano-British goddess Brigantia with the Irish Brigid and pointing to a possibly Roman or Romano-British burial in Stonyford, County Kilkenny. He identifies the Irish Brigantus with the early medieval Louis Brigter clan. In popular culture, in the 2011 film The Eagle, Jamie Bell plays a captured son of a chieftain of the Brigantis named Esca who travels with Roman soldier Marcus Aquila north of Hadrian's Wall to discover what happened to the 9th Legion. In Rugby League, a fan group called the Brigantis WRL are supporters of Wigan Warriors RLFC.